Okay, y'all. It's uh, like one o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep again, so I came back out to the shop. I'll do a little video on my my newest purchase, which is a Ryobi router table. Anyway, we're going to do kind of a modified unboxing. I'm not going to show me tearing the box open and all that stuff. Um, I may go through part of the assembly and that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's, believe it or not, it don't look like much sitting up there, but that's the FXS sitting behind it. So, you know, it's considerable size box and it's got some weight to it. Anyway, I'm gonna crack this thing open and lay everything out and I'll get back to y'all here in a minute. All right, y'all, this is what's in the box. A black thing, another black thing, a square black thing with a cord on it. Some kind of French tickler thing. A cardboard, piece of cardboard with a bunch of bolts and an Allen wrench. Takes four feet. A fence with a bone bubble on it. And a glorified piece of MDF plywood. And a pile full of heater material. It's cold out here, so I got I got the stove going. Y'all see the heat coming off of it. Anyway, I'm gonna put a couple of these pieces together and I shall return. Alright, I'm not standing on my head. It's upside down. Anyway, that's the power box. It's got three little screws with nuts or, or little bolts with nuts. I don't know if you can see them or not. There they are. Anyway, I go over to the toolbox and I grab a handful of SAE wrenches and none of them fit. Okay, the name on the thing is Ryobi. It's 10 millimeter. Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, that's a power box. You got the power in. Uh, there's, there's two, well, I, that's power in, that's power out. Um, one is for the router, one, there's two outs. One is for the router, one is for whatever kind of dust collection you want to use, be it, uh, shop back or dust if you have a dust collection system which I don't um, that's what the second port is for anyway we're gonna move on all right we can go put these under they call them under table guards anyway there's two of them one goes right behind your fire supply box the other one goes on the back Ryobi could do a better job with their instructions. Anyway, on your little card here, it's lettered on the back. The screws for this is, are the ones that are in the D section. So I'm gonna put these on, tighten them up, and uh, I'll get to y'all to the next part. Now y'all look at this. Figure seven in the instructions for the table. It says the left leg has the English label. Right leg has the French and Spanish label. I don't know how well y'all know me, but I have trouble speaking and reading English. How the hell am I going to know whether it's French or Spanish? Anyway, there's something funny I saw in here. 
I know it's upside down, but there's the English leg using the English screws. Okay. <clears throat> I am assuming that is the Spanish and the French leg. But my question is, can y'all tell me which ones of these screws are Spanish screws and which one of these are French screws? I'm so confused. All right, there's legs. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna get sued over this video because I integrated the French and the Spanish screws because I didn't know which ones were which. But anyway, there's the legs, moving on. Okay. The legs are on. If you're using a Ryobi router, let's see what the instructions say here. It's pre-drilled for the rigid R2930, the R22002, the Ryobi R163K, or the R163GK, which is that router right there. The Milwaukee Porter Cable. On the back of the, I'm showing y'all on the instructions because it's easier to see. But the hole, the holes are marked. It's pretty simple, three screws, put it in there, and we're gonna drop it down in the hole. I'm gonna set the phone down. We got a little bit more to do, and then we'll be done. Okay, first impressions all put together. It's a pretty nice little unit. The feet are made so you C clamp it, so you can clamp it down with C clamp, or you can bolt it. Either way, I just got a C-clamp to my, my smaller fab table. I couldn't figure out why when I plugged the router in, turn the switch on, turn this switch on, the router wouldn't run. I didn't turn the switch on on the router, big dummy. Anyway... <coughs> Got the fingerboard. I call it the French tickler, but anyway, it's the finger. That's the fingerboard that prevents the material from kicking back on you. Uh, still got to do some minor adjustments and stuff, but you know, nothing wrong with the product. I'm real happy with it. First impression. Um. I'll try to do like a 30 day review or something here in a month or so. Um, I'm doing some woodworking projects and stuff. You know, just making some extra money. So anyway, hope y'all have a good one. Ryobi, y'all. Just bring it.